Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. How was your Thursday? Good evening. Good evening, Maria. Moises. Hello, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Welcome. Welcome, Moises. Welcome to Alexi, Wilfredo, William, Jessica Araceli, uh, Maria René, Mateo. Oh, oyente. Yes. Alexi, oyente. Okay. Very good. So, Alexi and Mateo. Give me a second. Uh, pencil. Uh, uh, mm, okay, let me see. Mateo. Listener. Alexi, listener, right? Remember that if you're a listener, the next class is obligation. You give the semita to the group, right? It's obligation. Hello, Carlos. Are you in your house? Or still working? Hello, teacher. You're ready today. No in the fort, right? Hoy no está en el box. No está en el box. No, ayer. Un día pesado. Oh, sorry. Sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. Para el día salí. Oh. Derrotado. No, no, derrotado. No, don't say that. No. Tired, but ready for tonight's class. So. Yeah. Okay, good. Let me see. Uh, Alexi, hello, teacher. Estaré de oyente. Okay. Good night, no. Good evening. Good evening, Mateo. Yes. Estaré de oyente. Okay. Cierre de mes. Mm, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I imagine, right? Today is very difficult. Good. Now, let me see. I have some messages in the in the group. Mm -hmm. Say uh, the dinner for. Está lloviendo. Ada, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Ada. Message. Oyente, right? For the moment. Okay. Ada and. Let me see. No, nobody else, right? Only or my co worker, Luis Bonilla, says ready for the class. Luis Bonilla is the the the, the employee, my my coworker, right? That if you have any problem, you contact with Luis Bonilla and he can help, right? Wilfredo, what what Fredo says? I imagine he's working. Voy saliendo a la oficina. Okay, very good, Wilfredo. Diez cuatro, diez cuatro. Okay, very good. Copy, copy, right? Now ready to begin, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Kenya. Let me see, Kenya. Puedo partes, pero sí puedo participar de Kenya. Ah, yes. Today. Jessica Carolina, welcome. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Okay, Kenya is in the hospital today, right? Today is Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. But she Good evening, participate. teacher. Hello, you're on your way, Wilfredo? Yes, but uh, este, voy saliendo de la oficina, teacher, pero me anexo, me anexo okay. al no más llegar a la casa. Understand, be careful, we, only, be careful. Only for the listen. Good, good, relax, relax, easy. Thank you. Easy, Wilfredo. Easy, do not run, no, relax, calm, calm, right? <laughs> okay, good, and welcome, Wilfredo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Yesterday, we were learning about the use of have to and need to, remember? Have to and need to, right? Yesterday, right? The use of have to and need to, right? And when we were discussing some specific topics, a reading, and we were learning about nicknames, for example, David is Dave, John is Johnny, Timothy is Tim. Okay? Very good. This is the class of yesterday. Okay. Let me see another message. Tengo otro mensaje por acá. Give me a second. Van a disculpar. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Now let's continue. Ya no hay más mensaje en el grupo. Okay. Let's continue, right? Now we have here some conversations, right? About uh, the use of how often do you make activity, right? No, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Here. So let's practice. Let's practice, right? Uh, number one says, how often does your boyfriend call you? He calls me every night. Oh, very romantic. So, here I have I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. These are called in English personal pronouns. Personal pronouns, right? Or if you want to say also, another name is subject pronouns. A pronoun is a substitution of the name. For example, instead of say Carlos, I say he. Instead of say Jessica Araceli, I say she. Instead of say Wilfredo and Carlos, I say they, etc., etc. Those are, you know, subject pronouns or personal pronouns, right? But we have other category of pronouns that are called object pronouns. Okay, for example, for I, the object pronoun is me. For he, him, for she, her, for it, it, for we, us, for you, you, and for they, them, right? Sorry, class, the last interruption. Espero que sea la última. Good, good year, no, good year, no. Good evening, right, Enrique? Voy en carretera, okay, good. Hello. Excelente, 10-4, Enrique. Ah, okay. Yes. Good. Enrique and, and Ingrid. Teacher, voy de camino. Está lloviendo. Yes, it's raining. Ingrid, right? And Brenda Lee. Van a disculpar las interrupciones, chicos, pero a veces el tráfico hace que algunos de ustedes pues estén solo de oyente. Okay, Brenda Lee and Ingrid, right? Okay. Nobody else? Vamos a ver. Nadie más. Okay. So let's continue. Subject and object pronoun, right? I repeat, subject and object pronouns are substitution of names, right? And subject is the creator of the action and object is the, the receiver of the action, right? One example of this. Let me see. Um, Moises, what is the name of your mother, Moises? Uh, my mother, my name, your name is, um, Transito. Transito, okay. Uh, Moises' mother is Transito, right? So, Moises loves Transito, right? Yes, Moises, do you love your, your yes, mother? Of course, okay. yes, right? So, Moises is a name. Transito is a name, right? So, if I want to make substitution, right, of Moises, I say he. He is a subject pronoun, like I, he, she, he, we, you, and they, right? And then the action is loves, the action, right? And who is the receiver? Who is the object of the love of Moises? Is transito. But substitution of transito is me, him, her, her, right? Her. So Moises loves transito. He loves her. He is the subject. Her is the object. Understand? Other example, right? Uh, sorry, Moises, excuse me to, to use as an example, right? Uh, what's the name of your father, Moises? Uh, my, uh, my uh, you, you know. <laughs> His name is? 
Sorry. Your name is Santos. Santos. Okay. Yes. Santos. Good. So Moises loves tránsito en Santos. In this case, what is the object pronoun for for they for tránsito en Santos? Them. Right. So he loves them. He is the subject, is the creator of the action, the doer, the performer. And them is the object, the receiver, right? I will copy if you, you want, right? He is the maker, the doer. The doer, el que hace la acción, right? The doer. And them is the receiver, the object or receiver, right? Understand? So for transito is her, for transito en Santos is them because it's plural, right? Okay, good. So this is the example of subject pronouns and object pronoun, right? Good. Now, let's go to the conversation. He says, how often does your boyfriend call you? And the woman says, he calls me every night. He is the subject. He is the subject, right? And me is the object. He is the subject, the creator, the doer of the action. And me is the receiver of the action, right? He calls me every night. Good. Now we're going to start practicing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, good. Now, uh, here we have this conversation. Look, how often do you use your computer? Let me see. To begin the class, I will take the attendance. Um, yes, like this, right? So say present, right? Uh, for Ada, Brenda Lee, Ingrid, Mateo, and Alexi, Ya les tomé la asistencia. Así que no los voy a llamar, pero ya están presentes. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? Good. Now, the rest, pay attention and say present. Brenda. Present. Welcome, Brenda. Eh, Carlos. Mr. Carpio. Carlos. Present, present. Okay, Estaba thanks. hablando sí. sin el micro. Ah, okay. So, no problem, Francisco. I mean, no, no problem, Carlos. No problem, Carlos. Sorry, excuse me. Hey. Okay, Francisco. Mr. Alfaro. Okay, Delia. Present, teacher. Elsa. Teacher, yo también le escribía que estaré de oyente. Ah, okay, oyente. No problem, Elsa. Excuse me. No, no, no había leído su mensaje. Sorry, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Perdón. Perdón por el ojo ahí. <laughs> Sorry. Ok. Now, eh, Enrique. Ah, Enrique está de oyente también, ¿verdad? Present. Yes. Pero, pero está de oyente, ¿verdad, Enrique? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, good. Eh, Erenia. Present. Ok, Erenia. Welcome. Evelyn. Present, teacher. Thank you. Freddy. Eh, Jessica Araceli. Ah, aquí tengo un mensaje. Jessica Araceli, yes. Present. Ok, good, Jessica. Thank you. And Jessica Carolina. Present, teacher. Jonathan. Present, teacher. Welcome, Jonathan. Kenya in the hospital, right? Yes. María. Present teacher. María René. Present. Present. Ok, Moisés. Present teacher. Wilfredo. 
oyente de momento. Yes, yes, oyente. No, tranquilo, tranquilo. Okay. Yes, tranquilo. William. Present. Wilmer. Mr. Mendoza García. Ok, good. Now let's begin with the practice, right? Kenia, sí, Kenia está de oyente, I know. Ok, let's do it, right? So, number one, how often does your boyfriend call you? He calls me every night. How often do you use your computer? Ok, when I say computer, I'm talking about an object. So I'm going to use it. What is the object for it? It. The same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, your son. Your son is a boy. So him, him. Uh, your windows. Windows are objects, but plural objects, right? So for this reason, we're going to say them. Plural, plural sorry, is them. Singular is it, right? With this information, we're going to have tonight Brenda and Carlos, right? Brenda, your letter A. Carlos, your letter B in number one, right? Okay, go ahead, please. Number one, this one. Yo. Eh, no, no, no. Eh, Brenda, the question. And Carlos, you make the answer. So you're okay. going to say, oh. I, I used it, I used it. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 Brenda. Oh, la, que, you, la que está señalado de rojo. Yeah. The, you, okay. you made the question, Brenda. Okay? Ah, do okay. it. Okay. Do it, girl. You can do it. Come on. Okay. How often do you use your computer? Every day. I, I, I use, use her to computer every no, no, day. No, 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 wait, 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 Carlos. When you say I use it, it's not necessary to say I use the computer. Ah, uh, solo. Okay, wait, wait, wait. G g let me explain. You, you have two options. You can say I use the computer, option number one, or I use it. Option number two. In this moment, Carlos, we are practicing the object pronouns. So for that reason, don't say your computer. I mean, it's okay, but in this moment, no. So you only say it. You sit, right? Okay, go ahead. I. I. You sit. Uh -huh. You sit. You sit. Uh, your computer. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I repeat. Every day. No, your computer, no. No, no. <laughs> only use it. But I will explain. Sorry, uh, because I you are... You, you are you, give, me give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I use it, right? Uh -huh. I use it. Wait. It is the substitution for the computer. Uh, I use it. I. So... It's not necessary you say the computer. It's not no, necessary. No, I use it. I use it. I use it. Y ahí termina. And then, uh -huh, every day. Um, okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I use it, it every no, day. No, no, no. no, I use it, it, no. I use it. I use it? Every day. Every day. Excellent. Okay. Now, again. Y el, I use Rewind. it. Rewind. Your computer every day? No, no correct. No, no, no. No, I mean, it's correct. It's correct. Ah. Okay, you can use the computer. También es correcto. Uh -huh, yes. correct. But don't say, I use it, the computer. No, I use it, the computer. No, I use the computer. Ah. Uh, o, substitution for the computer. It. It. I use it. Not corto. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, again, repetition. Brenda, please repeat the question, Brenda. How often do you use your computer? I use it, I use it every day. Excellent. Also, 
asombrante. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, next couple is going to be uh, Delia and Erenia. Delia, you're, you make the question and Erenia make the answer. Number two, right? Ready, girls? One, two, three, action. Erenia, how often do you write to your son? Erenia, 10 cuatro. Ay, por ahí estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Ah, ok, ok. <laughs> I, write I write. Sustitution for your son. It's a, it's a boy, right? So, I write. I write me. I write him. him. I write her. I write he, it. I write us. I write you or I write them. Erenia? Him. 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 Uh-huh. Every week. My goodness. It's totally correct. Right? Again, Delia, repeat the question. Erenia, how often do you write to your son? I write him every week. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Right? Now, conversation number three. Uh, we say in Spanish, right? Hoy agarramos la onda. Okay, now this case could be less difficult, right? So, Evelyn, you're going to be letter A. I mean, you're going to make the question, Evelyn. And, and uh, uh, Jessica Carolina. Jessica Carolina, you make the answer, right? Ready, girls? One, two, three, action. How often do you... Clean your windows. Ok, wait a minute. Eh, perdón por la interrupción. Evelyn, usted me dijo que sí iba a estar de oyente. Perdón que... Este, fíjese, teacher, que estoy un poquito mal de la garganta. Ajá, Mientras okay. me sienta tan mal, voy a poder participar. Ah, ok. Ok, sí. bien, ok, excellent, excuse me, es que como tiene oyente, entonces yo dije, ah, oh, sí, olvidé, okay. olvidé quitarlo al principio, pero okay, es porque no. me siento mal de salud. Ah, ok, but I hope you get better, right, uh, 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 good chocolate, le recomiendo un buen chocolate bien calentito. <laughs> <laughs> ok, again, again, so make the question, Evelyn. Ok. Uh, how often? How often do you clean your windows? Ajá, Jessica Carolina. Ah, perdón, aquí tengo un mensaje. Lo siento, Tisha. Te... Ah, es que estoy... Oh, my goodness. Hoy es el cumpleaños, cumpleaños de Jessica Carolina. My goodness. Congratulations. Yes, come on. Vamos a ver, reaccionemos todos ahí, por favor. Estamos de fiesta este día también, ¿verdad? Chan, 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 chan. Ok, congratulations, Jessica. Yes. Ahorita le están mandando felicitaciones a Jessica, ¿verdad? Yes. Ya que Moisés no nos quiso dar pastel, tal vez, tal vez Jessica Carolina nos da pastel, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. Good. Congratulations. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jessica Carolina. Happy birthday to you. Y que cumpla 19 años muchas veces. Yes. Ok, congratulations. Good. So, uh, now I need the help of Jonathan, right? Jonathan, uh, number three. Ready, Jonathan? Uh... Pregunta okay. o respuesta. Yeah. Wait, no, the question, the, the answer, sorry, the answer. Oh, Evelyn, sorry. sorry, again, the last time, excuse me. The last time, make the okay. question, no, number no three. Problem. No problem. How often do you clean your windows? Uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I clean 
I clean uh, them every month. My goodness. Yes, Jonathan. I clean them every month. Do you understand? Okie dokie. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'm surprised. You did very good, Jonathan. Thank you. Now, let's go to the next one. Number four, right? Number four. For this number four, I have uh, Maria and Maria Rene, right? Maria, you make the question and Maria Rene, the okay. answer, right? Okay. Often, do you visit your Minnesota? Oh, no, 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 Minnesota. No. Uh -huh. no, no, wait. Your aunt. Wait. Aunt is Tia, um, right? Tia, Tia. Um, uh, your okay. aunt, aunt. Uh, aunt, sería in, of... In, in Minnesota. Okay. How often do you visit your own in Minnesota? I visit my aunt. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, my aunt is a woman, right? So what I use, Maria Rene, me, him, her, it, us, you, or them. What is the color? Her right now again. I visit her. Uh huh. I visit her every monthly. No, every year. Sir. Every year. Ah, no, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Maria. Yeah. I like it very natural. Ah, no, yes. <laughs> okay. So I, I visit, visit her. I visit her every year. Excellent, very good. Thank you, nice. Now, just give me a second. Perdón, que está, de, está desbordado el, el, el chat, ¿verdad? Eh, Mándenle más felicitaciones a, a Jessica Carolina, come on, no seamos así. Ok, y luego eh, Francisco está de oyente, sí, ya, ya lo Happy vimos. Happy birthday, Brenda ah. Carolina. No, no, Jessica, Jessica Carolina. Jessica Carolina. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Brenda, I guess, no yet, right? Brenda, usted no todavía, ¿verdad? Ahí no cuenta. Si... Ahí le vamos a mandar el pastel a, a los que cumplen este año, este, perdón, este mes. <risa> ok, ya tenemos a Moisés, ahora Jessica Carolina. Mañana creo que es Carlos Armando, ¿verdad? No. <risa> ok. Very good. Eh... Bueno. En julio, cumpleaños. Ah, ya se nos pasó. Bueno, ni modo. Ahí nos van a arreglar un pedacito de pastel, aunque sea, diga Carlos. Ok. Francisco está de oyente, muy bien. Ok. Now, let's continue, right? Por correo les mando el pastel, dice Jessica Carolina. <risa> ok. Aunque sea un pedazo de semita, Jessica Carolina. Okay, now, uh, who's next? Let me see. Number five, right? Wash your car. Remember, car is it, right? It, because it's an object. Um, we have Moises and, Will and, and William. Yes, Moises and William. Moises, you make later uh, the, the question, Moises. And, <laughs> and, and William, you make the answer, right? Okay, go ahead. Number number five. How often do you wash your car? I wash it every weekend. My goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, exactly, William. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Moises and William. Now let's go back to Brenda and Carlos. But this time, Carlos makes the question. Carlos makes the question. And, okay. Brenda, and Brenda, the answer, right? Grandchildren is plural, they, right? Uh, so, come on. One, two, three, action. Six, ba. What? Six, ba. What's... <laughs> okay, yeah. So, uh, you say six, right? I, I, will, I, will, I will copy for you, Carlos. Look. Oh, often. Wait, 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 wait. Number six. Okay. Right. Look, in oh, English you say oh. right. No, wait, wait, Carlos, relax, relax. How do you say uh, verdad in English? Mm. Number six, right? True. No, number six. Wait, wait. Six. When you want to number say six. No, no, right. 
en lugar de decir, right. va, eh, Carlos, en lugar de decir va, <ríe> la número It's seis, right. va. Ah, right. Es right. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, like, like I say, Carlos, uh -huh. your last name is Carpio, right? Yes. Yeah. Ok, ahora en español, Carlos, su apellido es Carpio, ¿verdad? Así es. Ok, sí, now in English. Yes. Carlos, your last name is Carpio, right? Right. Ah, ok. And then in this case, usted está preguntando si es la número 6. Entonces va a decir sí. así. Eh, teacher, number 6, right? Yes. Teacher, okay. number 6, right? Yes. Number 6. <laughs> ok, you make the question and the 6 and Brenda the answer, right? How often do your grandchildren call you? Them no. every Sunday. They, they, they? They every Sunday. They call? They call me every Sunday. Okay, very good. That's correct. They call me every Sunday, right? Very good. Now, let's continue. How often do you, does your boyfriend call you? He calls me every night. Now, number seven. Your boss, hello to you. Number eight, feed, alimentar, right? Alimentar, feed the animals. Animal is plural, remember, right? And how often do you think about me? Okay? Now, let's go to number seven. Um, Delia. And Erenia. Erenia, you make the question in number seven and Delia the answer, right? Delia, how, how often does your boss say hello to you? He say me no, no, hello. No. He, he, he say, say hello. He say hello to me. To me, uh, every morning. Okay, excellent. He it's, say, it's correct to me. No, uh, uh, okay. Uh, there is a or, or rule. Say, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. There is a rule in English that you can say, tell me. But tell me is contarme, decirme algo, mm -hmm. describirme algo. Tell me, right? Mm -hmm. Say me is normally, in English, is incorrect. It's incorrect. You cannot say, say me. He say me. No. Say me. He no. say, he say, say uh, this word. Okay. To me. Okay. Or he say, a uh, pray for me. Él, for dijo me. Una, él dijo una oración. Él for me. Hizo una oración ante Dios para mí. He say, a uh, pray for me, right? But it's not correct. He say, he say her. He say me. He said them. He say me. No. It's, okay. it's a rule. Uh, it's a rule. We say, we say. With the say verse and say. tell. In the practice okay. of in, Delia, in movies or in music, probably you're going to say, uh, say me. Say you, say me. Oh, no, wait. This is another story, Delia. <laughs> I, will, I will describe. I will okay. explain. Le voy a explicar esa, esa canción, right? Okay, say, I love you. Mm -hmm. Say, you want me. Que me quiere, right? Say, you want me. Say, you. Okay, dime, di, tú. Say, me. I will I will describe this exactly. Look, D, eh, que tú significas mucho. D, que yo significo mucho. D, eso. D, que yo significo mucho y que tú significas mucho. So, re reduce, lo reducimos y en lugar de decir que tú significas mucho o que yo significo mucho, dice D, tú, D, yo. Understand, eh, Delia? No estoy diciendo 
dime a mí o dime a o dile a tú. <ríe> dile a tú. Ok, teacher, entonces para que me quede bien claro, le voy a explicar lo que entendí. Lo de la canción, lo de la canción. Ah. No, no, no. Lo de, lo de, no, no, pero es... quiero que me diga lo de la canción, si entiende. Ah, lo la de canción. la canción, sí, sí. sí, sí o sea, okay. que se, es como una abreviatura en lugar de decir, di que soy, di que, que soy, soy yo. importante. Ajá, ah. o sea, usa esa, esa expresión. Say you, say me, ajá. Muy bien, <ríe> ahora. ahora para que me quede claro ahorita, eh, es con el verbo say, no voy a decir say, eh, he say me, sino que he say la palabra hello, goodbye, uh -huh. eh, to welcome to me. To me, yes, okay. correct. Y okay. si quiere decir, él me contó, he, o él me cuenta, he tell me. He ahí tell sí, me. Ahí okay. sí está uh -huh. correcto. También uh -huh. as, me preguntó, he asked as. me. Me. Okay. Él me preguntó, he asked me. Ahí uh -huh. sí. No, no va a decir, he asked hello. <ríe> me. No, ahí no, no, no. No, ahí directo. El okay. as, vaya, se lo voy a decir así. El as y el tell se llaman en inglés verbos transitivos. Todos los verbos transitivos llevan un objeto. ¿Ok? Pero hay verbos que no lleva un objeto. Un ejemplo de eso es el verbo go. El verbo oh. go es intransitivo porque no lleva un, un objeto. No le digo, I go you, I go me. <ríe> no tiene lógica. O el verbo arrive, arribar. No puedo Ajá. decir, I arrive you, yo te arribo. <ríe> no, no, right. O yo los arribo a ellos. No, no, no. Es, yo arribo, yo llego al lugar. So, el verbo arrive y el verbo go son ejemplos de verbos intransitivos, que son bien poquititos. La mayoría es transitivo. Entonces, el say tiene dos usos. Algunas veces es transitivo y otras veces es intransitivo. En este caso, no es, es intransitivo, porque tenemos que decir algo más y luego decir el objeto. ¿sí? Say hello to me. ¿Ya? Entonces, no... Después del verbo no, no va directamente el objeto, sino que hay otra cosa en medio, ¿sí? Ok, sorry. Perdón si los confundí, ¿verdad? Pero... Thank you, teacher. No, esta gramática es un poquito complicada. Ok, thank you, Ingrid. Thank you, Ingrid. Ya la vamos a tomar en cuenta, Ingrid. Ok, continue, right? Eh, repetition, perdón. Con toda esta explicación ya nos perdimos, así que vamos a repasarlo otra vez. <ríe> ok. So, uh, repetition. Delia and Erenia, again, right? So, Erenia, make the question again. Delia, how often does your boss say, say hello to you? He say hello to me every morning. Okay. Thank you, right? Now, number eight. Ingrid, ready to participate? Number eight, you make the question, Ingrid. And uh, Jessica, no, Jonathan. Jonathan, you make the answer, right, Jonathan? Okay, ready? One, two, three, action. Ingrid? How question. Of, huh? How often? How often? Does your boyfriend card no, 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 no. you? Wait, 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 Ingrid. Number eight. Seven, eight. Ah, sorry, teacher. Ah, that's okay. How often do you feed the animals? I feed... I feed it mm -mm. every afternoon. Wait, wait. It is singular. But in this case, we see an elephant, a giraffe, etc. So it's, it's plural, animals. Right? So you have to use them. Them. Okay, okay again. Uh, okay. I feed them. <coughs> I feed them every afternoon. Okay, very good, right? Now, imagine you're talking to your girlfriend and says, how often do you think about me? And the girlfriend says, I think about you all the time. <laughs> very romantic, right? Or the opposite. The girlfriend says to the boyfriend, how often do you think about me? I think about you all the time. 
I say this to the to uh, the people who ask for money. <laughs> okay. Esto se lo decimos a los cobradores también. ¿va? How often do you think about me? I think about you all the time. Okay. Los de las colchas, chapinas, right? I think about you all the time. <laughs> okay, good, class. Any question? No question? Okay, now I will make direct question, right? This is a conversation. And says, Mark, I really need that memo, Brie. And, and, and Brie says, just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay. Now, in this conversation, notice the expression, it's very important. When you want to remark that something is important, you can say, it's very important. Other example is to say, I really need. I really need that memo, Brie. I really need that email. I really need that document. Or oh, that document is very important. So the expressions that express urgency, urgency, para ayer, right? you know, para ayer, you know, it's, it's very important or oh, I really need. Okay? Good. And then we have this conversation. Repeat after me, please. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, good. Now, uh, I need two volunteers to make this conversation. He shared what the meaning uh, right, right away. Immediately. Yeah. In this moment. Right now. Right away. It's the same, right? Or in a good Salvadorian, para ayer, right? Ahorita mismo, jefe. Ahorita mismo se lo, okay? Something like that, right? Ahorita mismo o antes, si es posible. <laughs> okay, good. Now, two volunteers to practice this conversation, please. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, come on. Letter A, you are Mark, right? And uh, Brie, who wants to be Brie? Volunteers. It's a short conversation, come on. Okay, Me, Ingrid. Teacher. Uh oh, sorry. Who? Me, teacher, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, you are Bree, <coughs> and Ingrid, you are Mark. One, two, three. Action. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. Oh, sorry, sorry to remark this, right? Perdón por remarcar esto para Jonathan e Ingrid. Estamos cada día mejorando más en la lectura. Yes, congratulations. Ya lo están diciendo más natural, ¿no? más fluido. Yes, I like it. Todavía hay alguna otra palabrita por ahí, pero eso es normal, tranquilitos. No vamos a decir todo perfecto, ¿verdad? Pero lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Ok, lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Yes. Good. Now... Here we have the expression, right? It's very important and I really need. Class, to finish this presentation of yesterday, uh, we are going to discuss some idioms in English, right? Idioms are expression that are, how can I say, uh, special, but doesn't mean the same. For example, I will tell you, tell you one example, right? In Spanish, we say, uh, lo quiero para ayer. Right? So when you say, ah, no entiendo, lo quiero para ayer. No tiene lógica. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You mean it's urgent. It's urgent, right? 
Other expression is uh, teacher. No pude conectarme porque estaba yo viendo a cántaros. Yo viendo a cántaros. ¿Cómo así? Que estaban cayendo cántaros del cielo. Okay, you know? <laughs> It's no logic, right? No tiene lógica, pero todos entendemos. ¿Qué quiere decir, verdad? Eh, otra expresión es, eh, por ejemplo, este, este es de cristal. No le digas nada porque este es de cristal. Ajá. Quiere decir que el cuerpo es de cristal de la persona. No, no, right. No, quiere decir que es una persona delicada, susceptible. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Cuando digo, ah, él es de cristal. So, in English, we have some idioms too. También en inglés existen estos idioms, ¿verdad? Right? Nos referimos a algo, pero en realidad queremos decir otra cosa, ¿ok? Let's start with number one. Look, it's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. Next one, what's cooking? Number three, I'm tied up. Estoy atado. I'm tied up right now. Estoy atado, right? Next one, I'll give you a ring tomorrow. I'll give you a ring tomorrow. Is that, that a ring? And the English test was a piece of cake. Uh -huh. A piece of cake. Quiere decir que en lugar del examen le tiene un pedazo de pastel. Estamos esperando, Jessica Carolina, el pastelito. Yes. <laughs> okay, now. Oh, the English test was no picnic. So what is the meaning? First one, it says, it's raining cats and dogs. The meaning is, it's raining very hard. Letter E, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Permítame, voy a, vamos a escribirle a Carolina, a Jessica. Yes. Realmente un segundito. Okay, continue, right? Number two, what's cooking? What is the meaning of what's cooking? What's It's, new? What's new, correct. So this is letter, letter D. D. Letter D, right? Vamos a ver si cabe aquí. Letter D, yes. Okay, eh, number three. I'm tied up right now. Estoy atado. I'm tied up right now. What is the meaning? No sé si lo alcanzaban a ver en su teléfono. I, I am busy. I am busy. Estoy ocupado, right? Mm -hmm. Letter F. I am busy. Okay. I am busy. So letter D. It's Was new means was cooking, right? And number three is I'm tied up. That means I am busy. Estoy ocupado, right? Just give me a second, please. Okay, excuse me for the the I was receiving a call, but I I turned off the the, the cell phone. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, right. now uh, let's continue. Right, uh, number four. I'll give you a ring. I'll give you a ring. What is the meaning of I'll give you a ring? I I'll call you. I'll call you. Right, call letter you. A. Okay, give me a second here. It was easy. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll call you. So, uh, this is number four is letter A, right? Letter A, good. And number five, the English test was a piece of cake. It was difficult or it was... It was easy. Uh-huh, letter B. Yeah, right? Letter 
letter B. And finally, no, letter C. Letter C. Yes. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, Delia. Okay, just give me a second and I'm going to erase it. Okay, then letter C, right? Okay, thank you. Oopsie, yes. And number six, the English test was no picnic. Easy, right? Letter B. Letter B. Okay, class. You see? Any question? Do you understand these this, uh, idioms? These are very common in English, right? These are very common in English. Uh, any question? No questions? Okay, let's continue with more. More idioms. Do you want more idioms? Yes, let's do it. Okay, good. More idiom, right? Says break a leg. Break a leg. Quebrate una pierna. Uh -huh. In English, break a leg. What is the meaning of break a leg? Hey, ch -ch -ch. Delia, break a leg. Ingrid, break a leg. Buena suerte. Ah, okay. Very good, Brenda. It's true, right? Break a leg means letter C, good luck. Good luck, right? Other expression is hold hold your tongue. Amarrate la lengua, right? Hold your tongue. Keep your chin up. Mantene tu quijada en alto. Okay, keep your keep uh, an eye on, on the ball. So it's like keep an eye on the ball. Keep an eye on the cell phone. <laughs> okay. Oh, put your best foot forward, right? Pone tu mejor pie adelante. And finally, get off my back. Get off my back. Ponete a mi espalda, right? <laughs> okay, get off my back. So, what is the meaning? Good. Hold your tongue. Don't be sad. Try hard. Pay attention. On don't bother me. No me moleste, right? Or be quiet. Shh, be quiet. So what is the meaning of hold your tongue? Quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Correct. Come on, guys. Help me. No me dejen sola, Adelia. Quiero los comentarios de todo. Vamos, please. Be quiet. Yes, sí. No, no, perdón, no les digo a ustedes be quiet. No, eso quiere decir hold your tongue. Okay, no, ustedes hablen. Ustedes pueden hablar. Okay. Is letter F, right? Hold your tongue is be quiet. Now, keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. What is the meaning, class? Keep your chin up. Come on, what is the meaning? Don't, don't, don't be sad, teacher, maybe. Don't. Be sad, correct. No estés triste. Man. <laughs> eh, ¿Cómo decimos en español? Eh, mantener el pecho en alto. Ajá. Algo así, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yes. O mantener... ¿Cómo decimos en español? Ah. Sí, ¿verdad? Mantener el pecho en alto, yes. Ok, now, here in this case is keep your chin up is don't be sad, right? Letter A. Letter A, right? Okay, good. Next one. Keep your eye on the ball. Pay attention. Pay attention, correct. Pay attention. So class, please keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> it means pay attention in the class, right? Don't sleep. Pay attention. So that's letter D. Then put your best foot forward. Pone tu mejor pie adelante. So what is Hard. it? Try hard. Try hard. Letter B, right? 
Yes, nice. Ya estoy escuchando otras voces. I'm happy now. Perdón, no es que no quiera escuchar a Adela, ¿cómo no? Pero me la dejan solita, solo usted la dejan participar. <ríe> ok, and the last one. Get off my back. Don't bother me. Thank you, William. I like it. Yes. Very good. Letter A. Letter E, right? Don't bother me. The word bother me is a commercial, right? Means no me molestes. Don't bother me. No me molestes. No me fregues. Deja de fregar vos. You know, don't bother me, right? And other that is similar is don't bug me. Don't bug me, right? It's another idiom, right? Don't bug me. No me molestes. Don't bug me. Por eso es que el conejo eh, Bugs Bunny se llama Bugs Bunny. ¿Qué quiere decir? El conejo molestón. El conejo malía. Bugs Bunny, you know? Por eso se llama así, Bugs Bunny. Porque bug quiere decir molestar, fregar, hacer broma. <laughs> ¿Ok? Ok, good. Now, let's continue, right? More expressions. Do you want more expression, more idioms? Tell me, please. Yes or no? Do you want more idioms? Okay. Let's continue with the last one. Right? More idioms to finish. This is the last one. Number one, my new co-worker is a real peach. Real peach, you know, it's... Eh, un durazno. <laughs> Mi nuevo compañero es un durazno. You know. ah, what? He's the top banana. Esta es la, la banana más importante, right? In our company. Now he's a real ham at office parties. Él es un jamón. Ah. <laughs> And he's a coach potato. Una papa en el sofá, you know? What's that? Coach potato. Good. And he's a smart cookie. Es una galleta lista, right? What? Smart cookie. He wants to ask about a raise, un, un, un aumento de sueldo. But he's a he's chicken. Your chicken. He's chicken. Quack, 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 quack. Yes? Good. So my new co-worker is a real peach. What is the meaning of real peach? He's nice. Ah, uh -huh. correct. He's nice. So I can say, for example, Brenda Elizabeth is a real peach. She's nice. She's nice. Right. William Antonio is a real peach. Means that real, uh, William Antonio is, is nice. He's agreeable, agradable, right? Very good. She is the top banana in our company. She's the boss. Oh, she's the boss. The boss. El mero mero, right? Ella es la mera mera. <laughs> she's the boss. Letter F. Correct, right? Letter F. And he is a real ham. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's a real ham at the at office parties. He's funny, he's afraid. He's, he's, he's funny. He is funny. He's funny. Letter A, right? Letter A. He is funny. Good. Now, he's a coach potato or sofa. Sofa, you need the same sofa. Coach he's potato. Lazy. He is? Late. Lazy, right? Yes. Lazy. He's lazy. So that's letter E. E. Letter E, right? She's a smart cookie. She's intelligent. She's intelligent. In other words, she's a nerd, right? Nerd. Letter C, nerd. <laughs> she's intelligent, eh? Okay. 
And finally, he wants, he to, wants ask to ask for a, for a race, race, but he's, yeah. he's a chicken. He, he's afraid. He's afraid, right? Letter B. Nice. Now, class, that's it, right? Thank you very much. We finished the first part of the class. Any question? No questions? Okay, good. Now, I'm going to go to the next presentation. The next PowerPoint presentation is here, yes. Yes, it's ready. Okay, class, today we are going to continue with uh, have to and need to, but this time it's a practice. I have a commercial for you. Eh, no se les olvide, mañana es la clase número 10. Vamos a tener el midterm test. Vamos a hacer el midterm. Pueden hacerlo solito, pero eh, el día de mañana vamos a dedicar un poquito de tiempo para explicarlo. Si hay alguna tarea que aún no hayan hecho o no hayan entendido el día de mañana, pues la vamos a explicar y vamos a, a revisar, ¿verdad? Este, juntos cómo hacer eh, todos los ejercicios de la clase 1 a la clase 10. ¿Verdad? Si hay alguno que, que aún no entiendan, ahí vamos a explicarlo, ¿ok? Tomorrow. Así que no vayan a faltar, por favor. Si tienen algo más importante que hacer, déjenlo. Primero la clase. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Now, eh, let's begin, right? William, please, can you read the objective for tonight? Please. William, hello? Hello. Read, I, uh -huh. I, I will be able to express obligation and need at the workplace. Thank you very much. What are your obligations, class? What are things that you need to do in your company, right? This is the topic. For example, let's start with Brenda. Brenda Elizabeth, uh, what are some of your obligations in your company? Um, uh, su supervisor, supervisor. Uh -huh. I have to. I have, I have to. Supervise. Super supervise. Okay, listen class. Brenda has to supervise. Uh-huh. Okay. Then, uh, Moises, what about you, Moises? Uh, what are some of your obligations? My obligation is, um, a super base, the um, uh, cocoa beans control. Uh -huh, okay, so it's I have to supervise the cocoa uh, bean regulation, no? The calidad? Uh, quality. Quality. The co cocoa bean quality. Say again, I have to. I have to. Supervise. Supervise. The cocoa bean. The cocoa bean. Quality. Quality. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, Moises has to supervise, has to supervise the cocoa bean quality. Thank you very much. And Ingrid, what about you? What are some of your obligations in your company? In this case, I want to say that uh, the name of uh, the company of Ingrid is Santa Barbara S.A. Right? Yes. What my, my obligation is uh, clean, clean the materials, chemical. Clean, clean the, 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 the chemical, chemical, you know, chemical is chemical uh, material. Yes. Oh, it's very important, right? And dangerous. You yes. use a special equipment? Usa equipo especial? 
Yes, teacher. Uh, I imagine, I imagine, yes. I did. I, okay, Whatever. now, I imagine. So, Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello, what, teacher. what about you? What are some of your obligations? In the case of mm -hmm. Maria, is Servicio Las Moras, right? Sí. What are some I, of your obligations in Servicio Las Moras? I have to bring the reports up to light. Good. Thank you very much. Now, class, listen. One of my obligations is I have to bring the semita in my in my company. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, good. So now the, any the coffee teacher. The coffee. <laughs> yes, I have to bring the coffee to my company. Okay, thank you. Now here we have some vocabulary. Look, reschedule. Reschedule is to change the time of a planned event. Right? Es, um, in Spanish is re, reprogramar. Yes, reprogramar, reschedule, right? Good. Provide. Provide is make available for use. Give, supply, supply. For example, I imagine in your company you use paper. You use pencils, you use uh, sharpeners, uh, folders, etc., etc., right? So uh, I imagine your boss or, or, or human resources, right? Look, the recursos humanos, I don't know who in your company, but they provide, they supply uh, material, right? Customer. Customer is a person or organization, right? The buys goods. Goods are uh, merchandise. Mercadería, right? Merchandise. Or services, right? The person who buys goods or services is the customer. For a store or for a business, right? He is the buyer, the shopper. The person who gives money, the person who gives money to obtain a product or to obtain a service, right? One example in this class, for example, you, you are not a customer, right? But you are similar to customers, right? Because you are receiving a service. You are receiving a service, right? From Inglés Corporativo, in Safor and the teacher Javier Gomez, right? You're you're receiving a service. So you're you're a student, but you are similar to customers. Do you understand? Or imagine you go to Siman, for example, right? And you buy a, a shirt in Siman, right? You give the money and they give you a product. So you are the customer, right? Good. Now we have here this conversation. John says, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? And I said, yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? In El Salvador, and you is Yvonne, right? Uh, well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. You see? Okay. I will take the attendance, then check the conversation, and circle the words you don't understand, right? Now, eh, me dicen si ya están activos para participar, okay? Voy a llamar a todos. Los que ya estén activos, pues, me, me, me dicen si ya pueden partir. Ok. Ada. Si está de oyente, me mandan un mensaje. Ok. Eh, Brenda Lee. Brenda. Present. Carlos. Carlos, present. Francisco. Delia. 
Same teacher. Elsa. Present teacher. Todavía sigue de oyente, Elsa. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Es que soy un poco enferma. Sí, yo sé, yo sé. Tranquilo, no se preocupe. Ya, yeah. pues actualizará. Enrique. Sí. Ok, de oyente todavía, ¿verdad? De oyente. Ok, good, good. Erenia. ¿Por qué Kia lanzó esto? Porque Kia compró un lote de catalizadores. Se los instalaron. Evelyn. Ya Soul, Kia Río, Hyundai hacen motores GDI. Evelyn. Ok. Entiendo que está oyendo, porque está también un poquito mal de salud. Eh, Freddy. Ingrid. Presentilla. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina. Ok. There you go. No se preocupe, siga celebrando, Jessica Carolina. Se lo merece. Por llegar a los 20 años. <ríe> ok, Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya. Me imagino que sigue en el hospital, Kenya. Eh, María. Present teacher. María René. Present. Mateo. Sigue de oyente, ¿verdad, Moisés? Mr. Torres. Ok, good, thank you. Eh, Alexi. Wilfredo. En cinco minutos llevo, teacher. No, no problem. Ok, thank you, thank you, Wilfredo. William Antonio. Present. Wilmer. Ok, very good. Let's continue, right? Eh, sí, bueno, hoy por cuestiones de salud, celebraciones y tráfico, pues tenemos varios oyentes, ¿verdad? Así es que los que estén activos, a ponerse las pilas, ¿ok? <ríe> ok, let's do it. Con ah, aquí tengo dos mensajes, permítame. Eh, René Alexi present, good, sigue de oyente, ¿verdad? Y Jessica Araceli, oyente, ok. Good. Good, now let's continue, right? Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Uh, and is there something? You need to do tomorrow? Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Okay. Actually, it's a false cognate. Actually, it's a false cognate. It's a false cognate. Okay. Actually, no quiere decir actualmente, no. Quiere decir en realidad, en verdad. Right? Así que nunca me van a traducir actually con actualmente. No. Se llama en inglés false cognate. Quiere decir que parece una palabra, pero no lo es. Actually, ah, actualmente. No. No, es. Actually quiere decir en verdad. La verdad es que. That actually, right? Okay, again, repeat after me, please. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Yes, 
Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Reschedule. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. Okay, that's it, right? Next one. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Again, repeat please. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh. 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 That's too bad. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, let's do it class. We're going to start with, uh, sorry, let me check. Ah, sorry, a commercial. Un comercial antes de comenzar. Ingrid, esta noche le toca la entrevista. ¿Todo bien, Ingrid? Ok, Tisha. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Ahorita la, la noto. Ok, thank you. Now, let's do it, right? Uh, here we have um, William Antonio and Wilfredo. No, no, Wilfredo is not ready, right? Uh, William Antonio and Alexi. Si, Alexi ya está listo, ¿verdad? Okay. William Antonio, you are John. And Alexi, you are Anne. Ready? One, two, three, action. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clean and you. Some clients? Some clients? Hmm. Well, I have to reschedule. Reschedule? I have to reschedule. Uh -huh. to meeting for tomorrow 
they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Again, Alexi, listen with enthusiasm. Listen. Uh, oh, oh, that, that's too bad. That's that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some consumers. And so interesting. That sounds that sound inter interesting. Interesting. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, William and Alexi. Thank you very much. Now we have a uh, Moises and Maria Rene. Moises, you are John. Maria Rene, you're Anne. Right? Ready? One, two, Ready. three, action. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Something? Something you need to do tomorrow? Miss Jovel Alvarez? Hello, Maria Rene. Okay. Good. So please, Maria, help me, Maria. You're going to be Anne. Yes. Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to rest, rest, res, res, um, res, 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 Reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, thank you. Repeat the, the reschedule. 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 Mm, the word schedule means planear, programar, hacer un horario. Schedule, right? Thanks. Schedule. Schedule, right? Eso quiere decir hacer un horario, programar. Uh, planear, schedule y reschedule quiere decir hacerlo otra vez reprogramar Re hacer un horario nuevamente right? Res reschedule Ske. it's not she, she, no it's ke, ke, ke. reschedule ok, and the word this is that sounds that sounds that sounds Interesting. Interesting. Good. That's it, right? San Miguel is interesting. No. No. <laughs> San Sonate. San Coco is interesting. No, no, but 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 Erenia lives in San in, in San Miguel, right? But I'm I only saying that San Miguel is interesting, right? Sonsonate is interesting too, Maria, but. Yes. Yes. Y eh, todos están obligados a poner semita en este grupo, pero María está obligada a traer, traernos cocos. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Now, class, who's next? Um, we have. Eh, sorry. Ajá, uh -huh. Alexi en, perdón, ya me, ya me, ya me perdí. Moisés ya estuvo. Sería María René, María René. No, ok, so, entonces sería María en Jonathan. Yes, así sería, ¿verdad? Right? María en Jonathan. María Acabo de are... participar. No, per... Ah, pues, perdón, perdón, ya me estoy confundiendo. Ok, eh, María... 
Jonathan. Jonathan ya participó, ¿verdad? No, no participó. No, no, va, entonces sería con Ingrid, perdón, ya. Ya me ubiqué. Ubícate. <ríe> ok, Jonathan, you are John. And Ingrid, you are Anne, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Um, is there something you you need to do tomorrow? Something? Something. Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to... Reschedule. Reschedule. Two million for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh. Oh, that. What? Yes, <laughs> I have to provide. Import informa information to some customer. That sounds interesting. 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 Good. Thank you very much. Right. Now who's next? Eh, perdón que a veces me confunda, pero que okay. esta noche tenemos varios listeners, verdad? Eh, so after Ingrid, we have eh, Erenia. Erenia from San Miguel, en María from San Sonate, right? <laughs> okay, ya. Ya me lo aprendí, solo que, ¿verdad? Okay, Erenia en... En... No, no, Enrique ya está listo a participar, Enrique. No, ¿verdad? Ok. Bueno, entonces sería Erenia en Delia. Yes. Erenia, your John. Delia, your Anne. Ready? <coughs> One, two, three, action. Um, is there something you need to do, to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceling today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. Customers, customers. Customers. That sounds interesting. Congratulations. Okay, thank you very much. Now we have uh, Carlos and Brenda, and we finish, right? Carlos, you are John, and Brenda is Anne, right? Ready? Action. Yes. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Carlos? Something, something you need to you do. You need, no, no, you need. You, you need. need, you need to do tomorrow. Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule. Reschedule, reschedule. Will I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow? They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. 
Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. Provide? Provide import information to some customer. Customers. 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 Provide. That sounds interesting. 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 Good. Nice. Congratulations. Right, class? Good. Now let's continue. Let's continue, right? Okay, here we have a question. What are some Anne and John's obligations? Please, I need you help me. And we are going to say have to or need to, right? Have to or need to, yes? Let's start with Anne obligation. What is something Anne needs, needs, sorry, to do? Anne, Anne needs to call clients. Anne but in not, it, needs it, it, to call, to call some, clients. some clients. This is one obligation for Anne, right? Teacher, is yes. is obligation needs yes. um, and have is to. obligation. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's obligation and sometimes is for urgency. Urgency. Urgent. Urgente, right? Okay. Now, what about John? What are some of the John's obligations? He has to risk reschedule reschedule uh, meetings two meetings reschedule John has to reschedule two meetings right two meetings and and has to and he has to provide important information. Yes, of course. But give me a second. Give me a key. Okay, sorry. Reschedule is only one e, right? So mm -hmm. he has to reschedule. Two minutes. Ah, yes. Okay, good. Now, and also, John has to provide important, important information to some customers. John has to provide some provide important information to, sorry to some customer, right? Okie dokie, let's continue. Let's continue. Give me a second. Okay. Good. Uh, some of the verbs that express obligation or needs, right? Cosas que tenemos o necesitamos hacer, right? Are have to and need to. And they are, they are used in similar way, right? They are used in a similar form. So you can say, I have to prepare a document for my boss. She has to prepare a document for her boss. We have to prepare a document for our boss. 
or you can use need. I need to prepare a document for my boss. They need to prepare a document for their boss. He needs to prepare a document for his boss. Right? Okay. So have to, need to, right? Here we have some examples. Look, observe. Affirmative and negative, right? I have to travel. You have to travel. He has to travel. She has to travel. It has to travel. We have to travel and they have to travel, right? This is affirmative. Cling. We have to. Then we have negative. We say, I do not have to travel. Or you can use contraction. You can say, I don't have to travel. You don't have to travel. He doesn't, does not have to travel. Notice that when I use a doesn't, it's not necessary to say doesn't has to. Mm -mm. Doesn't have to. For okay. Auxiliary. Yes, for the auxiliary, correct. So there is a, a, a rule, right? Esta es la regla que yo quiero que se aprendan de memoria. Cada vez que se usa el auxiliar, el verbo se toma igual, no se transforma, yeah. right? Or in, with we, we don't have to travel, they don't have to travel, right? This is a have to for affirmative and negative, right? So, uh, Brenda, help me, please. Can you read the affirmative sentences, please? I have to travel. You have to travel. He has to travel. She has to travel. It has to travel. We have to travel. They have to travel. Okie dokie. Now, in negative, please. Uh, Carlos, negative. And Terry uh, do not have I I help. I do not I do not to travel have to travel have to travel I do not have to travel continue you you do you don't have you don't have to travel excellent he, he doesn't have to doesn't have to try. Excellent. She, she doesn't she does have to try. Doesn't doesn't have to travel. Have to try. It has doesn't. It doesn't. It, it, it doesn't not. No, no, no. He doesn't, he have, doesn't have. He doesn't have to, to try. Yes. He doesn't. He doesn't have, ha, have, have to travel. To travel. We do not have to travel. Excellent. They? They do not have to travel. Excellent. Also, right? You're totally right. These are for uh, affirmative and negative, right? Now, but we have questions. Look, in the question, we use the auxiliary do and does, right? So it says, do I have to travel? Tengo que viajar. Do you have to travel? And then you have the, the answer. Yes, you do. Don't say, yes, you have. Yes, you have. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Yes, you do. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, we do. Yes, they do, right? In affirmative. In negative, you said, no, I don't. No, you don't. No. No, she doesn't. 
Yes. I'm sorry, excuse me. He doesn't or he does not. It's the same, right? No contraction, right? Good. Uh, we don't, they don't, right? Good. Now, we're going to make a, a special activity, right? Uh, question number one, two, three, four, and five. Five questions, right? So, in this case, uh, Delia, you read the question. Delia reads the question. Erenia say yes. Yes, right? And uh, Evelyn. Evelyn says no, right? Are you ready, Erenia? Ready, Erenia? Erenia, 10-4, 10-4. Presentarse a la pista, Erenia. No, okay, Erenia is not ready. So, uh, uh, Evelyn, are you ready? Okay, Moises, please. Moises, you answer yes. Delia is going to make the questions and you say yes, 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 yes. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, he does, etc. Yes, yes, yes. Right? And okay. uh, Evelyn. Ready, Evelyn? Okay, Evelyn is not ready. Now, um... Good so, teacher. Ah, okay, Wilfredo. Thank you, Wilfredo. Wilfredo, you are going to say no. Delia no. makes the question and you say only no, 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 no. Moises, yes, 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 yes. Wilfredo, no, 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 no. And Delia, you make the questions. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. we have the trio for tonight. Delia, Moises, and Wilfredo. Action. Okay. Uh do I have to travel? Yes, I do. No, I no, I don't. Do you have to travel? Yes, you do. No, you no, you don't. Does he have to travel? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she have to travel? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Do we have to travel? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Uh, uh, Do no, they... wait, wait, wait. Uh, does it, right, Delia? Does it? Uh, does it. Okay. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. Does it have to travel? Yes, it does. No, it's done. No, it, it doesn't. No, no it doesn't. doesn't. It it doesn't. It no, doesn't. it doesn't. Okay. Do we have to travel? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Okay. Do they do they have to travel? Yes, they do. No, they don't. <laughs> asombrante. Hong, 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 hong. Asombrante, asombrante, asombrante. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's continue, right? And uh, we also have information questions with what, with when, where, why, how, and who with, right? For example, what do I have? No, aquí creo que no, ¿verdad? When, so, but what? Suppose I what, pero en otro contexto. So we say, when do I have to travel? Where do you have to travel? Why does he have to travel? How does she have to travel? Okay. Who do they have to travel with? Who do they have to travel with? Right? Good. So these are questions we have to, right? We have to. Information. Now let's start making questions. Uh, let me see, mm, William, please. William, what do you have to do after this class? I have to... I 
I have to sleep. Okay. <laughs> yes, excellent. I have to sleep. Very good. Next question, right? Uh, Brenda, what do you have to do in the mornings, Brenda? I have, I have to take my cell phone. I have to use. I have uh, use my cell phone. Okay, uh, it's as acceptable, right? Now, Carlos, please. What do you have to do in the afternoons, Carlos? Hola, hola. Hello, hello. What hello. do you have to do in the afternoons, Carlos? What do you do in the afternoon? Hmm. Me está diciendo. ¿Qué tiene que hacer en las tardes, right? What do sí. you have to do in the afternoon? Sí. I have to. Okay. Terminar el turno. I work. I have to finish. Yeah, no. I have to finish. I have to finish my shift. Yeah. My Mi turno, shift. my shift. Yes. Okay, yeah. again. I have Carlos, to Car my Carlos shift. Armando. Yeah. What what do you have to do in the afternoons, Carlos? What do you do? I put finish my shift. Ah. Uh, uh-huh. I okay. have to finish. Carlos, I have see. to finish. I have to finish. Uh -huh. My? My shift. My shift, correct. I have to finish my shift. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, next question, please. Next question is for Delia. Delia, what do you have to do next week? I have to pay my my house my uh -huh. see my house yes your house yes nice yes. interesting right now what about you uh, Irenia? why do people have to go to school what is the reason people go to school you have to say because because, because ¿Por qué la gente tiene que ir a las escuelas? Because they have to. Because they have to. What do you do in the school, Serenia? To sleep, to work, to study. To run, to play. Erenia? Yeah. What do you do in the school, Erenia? You work or you study? Right. Okay. Uh, I will make the question to, to Ingrid. So, Ingrid. Because the people the are school, right? in the school, but the learners. Be okay. Because, we'll first say the answer, right? Yes. Because Be they? Because they has to go to school. They has to or they have to, Wilfredo? They have to. Have they to. have to. Have to. Go go to a school. Uh -huh, I know, but why? Ah, because the letter. They have to. They the have learn. to. No, the letter no. They have learned. They learned. They have to learn. Learned. Okay, because they have to learn. That's the reason people go to the school because they they have to learn. Or oh, if you want to say they need to learn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Need to. Yes, you too. In this case, you're uh, coming to English school, right? 
Now, uh, Jonathan, please tell me, what do people need to go? Why, sorry, why do people need to go to work? ¿Por qué necesita la gente trabajar? Big. Uh -huh. Jonathan, Mr. Fuente Valle, um, because, because they, they need to, because they, they, because they need to, they need, because they need to, uh -huh. they need to. Continue, you can do it. They need to. ¿Qué es lo que necesita la gente? The... Money. Probably is one reason. Uh -huh. yeah. Jonathan. In the chest. I will copy with you, right? Jonathan. Because. They need to. They need to. Because they need to what? Jonathan? It's wind, wind and up. Sorry, Jonathan, I can hear you. Because they need to. I don't know, teacher. In Spanish, ¿por qué la gente va a trabajar, Jonathan? Eh, para traer el alimento, digamos. Ah, okay. to, My they house. Need to get, they need to get. They How do you say get. alimento, Jonathan? How do you say alimentos? Food, I right? Food. Food. Ah, okay. Be because they need to get food. La in the house. Mm, yes, in the house. They need to get food in the house. Because... Okay, understand? Now let's go to the next question. Let's go Be to the next question. How do you say ganar in English? To uh, earn. 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 Earn money. Earn For money. Example. Yes. <laughs> Why you earn. don't say win? ¿Por qué no decimos win money? I don't know. Porque win es algo gratis. Correct. Earn es algo que Hay que hacer un esfuerzo. Uno. Hay que trabajar, hay que usar los recursos físicos y mentales para realizar esa actividad. Yo, por ejemplo, tengo que usar mis habilidades mentales, bueno, físicas también, porque escribo en la computadora para trabajar, right? ¿Sí? En el caso de Wilfredo, ¿verdad? Eh, como él recibe, ¿verdad? Este, muchas responsabilidades, ¿no? Entonces, eh, el realizar el trabajo de contabilidad, ¿verdad, Wilfredo? Yes, but y el manejo fácil. de empleados, manejo de empleados, entonces él, él no se, él no, de, no digamos que él win the money, él no se gana el dinero, perdón, no se gana de, de, no, de yes. gratis, 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 no yes, gratis, yes. sí, sino que se lo, ¿cómo puede decir en español para que se entienda que es, que es, que se lo merece? Sino que se lo se lo, es que en español es, es igual, ¿va? se lo gana. No, para <risa> no, lo de is, en España es de ven, lo de venga. Vengar, ¿eh? eso, yes, Wilfredo. Eh, eh, Wilfredo devenga su sueldo, ¿verdad? Es no, correcto. no se lo gana, no se lo regala, sino que se lo devenga, yes. Like everybody in this class, right? Like all the students, ¿ok? Good. It's Now, good. let's continue, right? Let's continue. Next question. I want to be happy. What do I need to do? ¿A quién le tocaría después de Jonathan? Vamos a ver. Eh, María René, right? Hello, María. María René. Hi. What do I need to do to be happy? Si quiero ser feliz en la vida, María René, what do I, have, what do I need to do? 
I need to do. I don't have idea. <laughs> ¿Qué necesita hacer para ser para ser feliz? Ajá, no tengo idea. Disfrutar no, no la vida. Okay. Enjoy I, the life. I need, I need, say, say, María René, I need to enjoy. No me le soplen, no me le soplen, vamos. <ríe> Déjeme la solita. I, I need to enjoy the life. Enjoy the life. Simple, right? If you want to be happy, enjoy the life. Means, deje de prepararse tanto para vivir la vida en el futuro. Vívala ya. Yes disfrútela, deje de estar ahorrando dinero para viajar a, a, a Estados Unidos o a Europa, ya con el pisto que tenga, vaya, vaya a Chalate <ríe> o al Golfo de Fonseca, right? Yes, why not? Ok, o ya deje el pasado, ¿verdad? Yes. Y a veces tenemos muchos dolores profundos por la muerte de, el, de los parientes, pero no podemos hacer nada, nos duele It's que part. se hayan ido, pero, pero tenemos que seguir viviendo, ¿no? O tuvimos un problema, un accidente, una deuda en el pasado, ¿ya? Yes. Dejémoslo todo atrás, ya pasó. Nos equivocamos o algo nos hicieron mal o lo que sea, pero ya pasó. Ahora vivamos el presente. So, that, that way no. you're going to be happy, right? Uh, it's correct, teacher, but with the people, if they have the food and house and health, is is very happy. Yes. Uh, I mean, and, and, and this is the problem with, with we Salvadorian. We have yeah. a car, but you say, yeah. no, I, I want a better car, so I will work more. Me voy a desvelar. Y voy a comprar un mejor car. It's okay. I mean, you, your eh, su Toyota 2001 todavía yeah. sigue trabajando. <laughs> ¿Para qué va a comprar un BMW? Come on, relax, right? O yes. si ya tiene su casita. No quiero yes. una casa con 10 cuartos. No. Con tres, conforme, de tres cuartitos, ya, uno es feliz. <laughs> okay. It's very important. Yes. Get money to, to go to the beach. Ooh, to go dancing. To eat, yeah. right? Enjoy the life. So, yes or no, eh, Maria René? Enjoy the life, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, the next one, please. Next one. Uh, this is for, uh, after Maria René, I have... Moises, right? Moises, Moses. Hmm? The question is for you, Moses. Pay attention. I want to live for a very long time. Quiero vivir mucho tiempo. Esta es la última pregunta. Y terminamos. What do I need to do, Moises? Um, I need to do the life. Enjoy. Uh, Enjoy um, the life. <laughs> I need, uh -huh, I need to, I need, I need to, enjoy, enjoy, the life, the life, the life, the life. me yes. le copió a María <laughs> René, pero está bien, yes, it's good, right, <laughs> nice, Moisés, and this is for, for you too, I want to be a famous movie star, I want to be a famous actor, similar to Leonardo DiCaprio, what do I need to do, Moisés? Um, the um, I am I need to you funny person or como se dice alegre? A, yes, to be to be funny. I funny. need to be. I need to be. I need to be funny. 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 Okay. Nice. Bueno, le voy a robar unos segunditos. Eh, William, please. I want to have lots of friends, lot of cheddar, right? What do I have to do, William? Okay, Wilfredo, please. What do I have to do if I want a lot of friends? A lot of friends I have to do is the... How do I not remember the... Say in Spanish, say in Spanish. I have to... Lot is dar amor, yeah. dar, dar, dar pisto, no, <laughs> no, no, 
So, so what do I have to do? I have to. I have to love is only. I have to love. Yes, yeah. you have to love people. You're right. Okay, class. That 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 that's all, folks. Eso es todo, amiguitos. I will I will uh, take the attendance and just say good good night. Right. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. But give me a second. Here we okay. have other questions. Look. I have other questions. Look, interesting question, right? For example, what things you have to do that you don't like to do? ¿Qué cosas tienen que hacer en su vida ahorita que, que no, le, no le gusta hacer? Yes. How many people in, in your family have to wear glasses? ¿Cuántas personas, miembros de su familia, tienen que usar anteojos? If you want to become rich, quieren ser ricos, millonarios, what do you need to do? Do cats and dogs have to do anything? Los perritos y los gatos tienen que hacer algo? Yeah. Yes yeah. or no? I want yeah. to improve my English. Quiero mejorar mi inglés. What do I need to do, right? En lo good que night. piensan estas preguntas, voy diciendo y me dicen good night. So, William? Good night. Good night. Wilfredo? Good night, teacher. Good night. Alexi? Moises? Thank good you, night, good night, good night. See you tomorrow. Maria Rene. Yes, and good night. Good night. Maria. Good night. Good night. Kenya. Jonathan. God bless you, teacher. You too, you too. Amen, amen. Jessica Carolina. Jessica Araceli, Ingrid, present teacher. Okay, no se me vaya a ir, Ingrid, please. No. Me espera, me espera, por favor. Eh, Evelyn, <coughs> que siga mejor, Evelyn. Erenia, Enrique, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, Enrique. See you. Eh, okay, see you. Elsa, espero que siga mejor, Elsa. Bye, bye. Delia. Good night, teacher. Good night. Eh, Francisco. Carlos. Present. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Brenda. Good night. Good night, good night. Brenda Lee. Ada, que siga mejor, Ada. Yes, I have a message here. Present, see you tomorrow, say Jessica Araceli, right? Thank you, Jessica Araceli. And Maria, estaré oyente. Okay, good. So that's it, right? So goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Elsa. Goodbye, Evelyn. Goodbye, Kenya. Goodbye, Francisco. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow, teacher. Get better. Siga mejor. Okay, que siga mejor. Thank Good you, night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. God bless you. Okay, good. Uh, Ingrid, any question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta, alguna estructura que no haya entendido, Ingrid? A ver, ¿qué tema, ¿qué tema le gustaría que viéramos? Lo... El de la... del uso del, del DAS, dice. Del DAS, vale, ok. El uso del DAS y del DU también, ¿verdad? Porque ahí va incluido, ¿sí? Sí, sí. Vaya, permítame, le voy a mostrar una, una pantalla. Permítame un segundo. Está mal de salud también, Ingrid. Sí, Tisha. 
a todos nos está afectando el clima, ¿verdad? Bueno. Sí, los cambios de clima. Los cambios, sí, va. Eh, Ingrid, para comenzar necesito que usted entienda un contexto entre el español y el inglés. Por ejemplo, eh, dígame cualquier verbo, Ingrid, en español. ¿En español? Sí, sí. Yes. ¿Comer? Sorry, comer. Comer. Comer, ok. Pero usted dice en español, yo como, tú comes, ellos comen, nosotros comemos, eh, ella come, él come, right? Etcétera, etcétera. Son ejemplos. Si se fija la palabra comer, va transformándose, ¿sí? Como, comes, come. Mantiene la misma base, pero va transformándose. Vaya, esto no existe en inglés, Ingrid. No existe. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir yo como en inglés, digo I eat. Tú comes, you eat. They eat. We eat. My friends eat. Si se fija, el verbo va igual. No cambia. ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿cómo sé yo cómo poner el verbo en pasado, en presente, para él, para ella, para nosotros, en futuro, en negativo? ¿Cómo hacer eso en, en inglés? Si no uso la conjugación, en la conjugación es fácil, usted dice, comeré, como, comí ayer, comemos nosotros, comen ustedes. O sea, usted conjuga el verbo de muchas formas, por eso es tan difícil el español, pero en inglés no puede hacer eso. El verbo es plano, it, 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 y ahí no se mueve el it, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo hacerlo? Bueno, para eso existen en inglés eh, Ingrid Auxiliares auxiliares nosotros en español no usamos auxiliares pero en inglés sí para el presente se usa el do y el das para el futuro se usa el will para el pasado se usa el did para dar consejos se usa el should para ser o estar se usa el verbo to be etcétera, etcétera. es decir estos auxiliares Ingrid, son como el timón en un vehículo que me ayuda a dirigirme a un lugar o a otro, ¿sí? Entonces, en el caso del do y el das, se utiliza para usar oraciones negativas, oígame bien, negativas y oraciones eh, de preguntas, ¿sí? Preguntas. Entonces, el do y el das significan lo mismo, igualito significa. La única diferencia, Ingrid, es que por gramática el do se usa con I, you, we, they, ¿sí? y el das lo usamos con y Sí. Eh, it. Repito, Ingrid, el das y el do significan exactamente lo mismo. Presente simple. ¿Ya? Aquí solo es una formalidad que el he, she, and it van das con das y el I, you, we, they van con do. Pero repito, significa exactamente lo mismo. ¿Sí? Entonces, si hacemos una oración afirmativa, vamos a hacer aquí una oración afirmativa, permítame. Afirmativa. I live in... Ingrid, where do you live? ¿En la libertad? ¿Lourdes? ¿San Salvador? En la libertad. La libertad, right. I live in la libertad. Do I need an auxiliary, Ingrid? No, right? No. No, because I have the subject I and the verb live. Right? 
Good. But in negative, I need the auxiliary. So I say, I don't live in la libertad. Okay. <laughs> don't significa do not, right? No. Do not, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero lo contractamos. Y también para tercera persona, he, she, and it, usamos el does. Does not live in la libertad. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué nos está indicando aquí el das, Ingrid? Nos está indicando que esta oración de vivir en la libertad está en presente. Solo eso indica. Es más, no se puede ni traducir, Ingrid. No se traduce. Porque no, nosotros no usamos en español los auxiliares, así que no, para nosotros no significa nada. Pero para ellos en inglés... Sí, sí significa, significa que lo que se está haciendo ahí, sea negativo, afirmativo, pregunta, ok, está en presente. El vivir en la libertad es algo presente, el comer pupusa es algo presente, el correr en las mañanas es algo presente, ¿sí? Estamos describiendo una rutina, una verdad, ¿sí? Ok, y si hago preguntas, mire Ingrid, questions. Does he live in la libertad? Be, vive él en la libertad? Then you say, yes, he does. He does. O oh, no. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Repito. El das y el do no significan nada, pero indican, Ingrid, que la oración es en presente simple. Si aquí pusiéramos did, entonces sería pasado. Si aquí pusiéramos will, entonces sería futuro. Pero no, usamos el do y el das para indicar que las oraciones son en el tiempo presente simple, ¿sí? Y en afirmativo no usamos el das ni el do como auxiliar, solo en los negativos y las preguntas, ¿sí? Y acá lo que usted se tiene que memorizar, Ingrid, es el das. Esto que está aquí. Y aquí el dos. Esto se tiene que memorizar, mire. ¿Sí? Ahí es donde se usa el do y el das, en negativas y en preguntas. ¿Sí? En presente simple. Okay. Okay. ¿Le queda claro, Ingrid? Sí, teacher. Sí, bueno. No se le olvide escuchar música en inglés, ver películas en inglés y practicar tanto los videos que yo mando a diario. Ahora mandé una canción, se llama Beds at Bornings. Beds at Bornings se llama. Y también mandé un, un ejercicio de escuchar para niños. Ve esos videos, por favor. Y practique siempre su inglés, ¿verdad? Porque ahorita usted ha adquirido un compromiso, Ingrid. Para el inglés. ¿sí? Así es que a cumplir ese compromiso y aprender con todo. Oiga, Ingrid. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Ok. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow.